हरि ओम तत्सत वेलकम टू स्वामी ज्योतिर्मानंद सोसाइटी अ जर्नी टू सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मिस्टिकल मीनिंग्स एंड टू एंजॉय डेली सत्संग वी आर करेंटली एक्सप्लोरिंग श्रीमद भगवत गीता कॉमेंट्रीज बाय स्वामी ज्योतिर्मानंद जी महाराज नरेटेड बाय माय सेल्फ स्वामी निखिलानंदा एंड वी आर करेंटली ऑन चैप्टर नंबर नाइन राज विद्या राज योग and we will be starting shloka number 12 today mogha sha mogh karmano mogh gyana vicheta sah rakshasim masurim chaiva prakritim mohanim shrita god says endowed with vain desires vain actions vain knowledge devoid of discrimination and in intelligence they continue to be deluded possessed by the deluding nature of the demons and asuras so god is saying due to ignorance people continue to make mistakes Uh, ignorance attaches them to the world process and they get stuck in maya maya or illusion and therefore they are caught in the cycle of birth and death because then they live their life in a vain way fashions endless fashions endless desires um, and then knowledge also that is simply for uh, the world and to become more egotistical sometimes in cases like that and then not using discrimination and intellect basically all the tools that we could have used for attaining liberation we shut them and we continue to use those tools for um momentary sense pleasures that's what lord is trying to say and then therefore those gunas are rajasik and tamasik they are demoniac and uh, in nature and they are therefore destructive for our evolution that's what god is saying in this shloka shloka number 13 mahatmanastu mam partha devim prakritim ashrita bhajantyan manaso gyatva भूतादीम व्यय बट ओ पार्था ओ अर्जुना द ग्रेट सोल्स टेकिंग रिफ्यूज इन माई डिवाइन नेचर वर्शिप मी एट ऑल टाइम्स नोइंग मी टू बी इम्पेरिशेबल नेचर ऑफ ऑल बींग्स सो दोज हु आर वाइज हु हैव डन गुड एक्शंस इन द पैस बर्थ हु हैव गुड कर्मज दे have more sattva or purity and they understand that that's why god is calling them mahatma or great souls they take refuge in god's divine nature they accept all things with equanimity and they worship god unconditionally and they know that his nature is indestructible or imperishable just like the consciousness within us is imperishable or indestructible so very profound shloka indeed god has given us the comparison of the people who are absorbed in the world process and then those who are um, working hard and connecting themselves to god daily shloka number 14 satatam kirtayanto mam दृढ़वृता नमस्यंतश्च मक्तुक्ता उपासते ग्लोरिफाइंग मी एट ऑल टाइम्स स्टेड फैस्ट इन देयर हाई स्पिरिचुअल रिजॉल्व दीज ग्रेट सोल्स दे स्ट्राइव टू नो मी एंड डाउट विद डिवोशन दे बाउ डाउन इन एडोरेशन टू मी एंड वर्शिप मी so here god is further elaborating that those pure souls who are satvik in nature who are mahatmas they enjoy satsang they enjoy singing god's glories and they create opportunities for others also to become purified by coming into that nectar of gyan ganga ganga is the holy river where you go and you all your sins are purified so therefore gyan yagya satsang 
uh, doing japa kirtan singing the names of god reading scriptures uh, and meditation selfless service all these things god says are uh, glorifying me and we are worshiping god in those activities shloka number 15 gyana yagye na chapyante yajjanto mam upasate ekatvain prathaktvain bahudha vishwa to mukham others worship me with gyana yagya the sacrifice of knowledge in the form of oneness with me or with a sense of separation as a master and his servant or with the manifold aspects of my being so here god is opening up the options of reaching god he says there are many ways to come to me which is what um, swami shivananda ji and our guru swami jyotirmananda ji talks about the process of integral yoga uh, purification people who like to do activities for them selfless service is the best form to be serving using their talents and skills but it has to be done in an unselfish manner for giving to others that is important so that is an option then gyana yagya people who are established in wisdom who know the scriptures who meditate so they can then share the wisdom of uh, this knowledge and guide other aspirants who want to learn the upanishads the bhagavad gita like we are doing right now yeah, this is called gyana yagya gyana means knowledge yagya means perpetually and doing it for uh not for selfish reasons but to help humanity help others that's why it's called a yagya so when we do it in that respect god says some come to me that way and then some of them come to me through devotion like in the form of duality they serve me like lord hanuman did to his master lord rama etc so god is saying these are the pure beautiful souls who are helping um themselves purify purifying themselves and slowly they are coming to my abode and then at that level there is no coming back to the world process lord says in shloka number 16 aham kraturaham yagyah swadhaham maushadham mantro aham vejyamham griraham hotama so here god is giving some essence of his being he says i am the kratu i am in the rituals i am yagya the sacrifice itself that we do god is the essence of that i am swadha swadha is Um, the wife of fire god so when we do oblations to our pitris our departed fathers souls ancestors we um, glorify swadha so he says i am swadha i am the medicinal herbs also oshadi that heals us and gives us life and cures us god is in them i am in the sacred mantra that is given by the guru at the time of initiation uh, uh, all the sacred mantras of om and others he says i reside in them and i am also the clarified butter that is poured in the yagya in the oblation to glorify god so he says um, that i am the very act of the offering oblation itself when we say swaha he says i reside in the fire i reside in other words when god is in every atom he is everywhere but just to give us some general guidelines he is explaining these uh, these qualifications of his essence shloka number 17 pita hamasya jagato mata dhata pita maha vaidyam pavitram omkaram rikmasa yajuraivacha here god says i am the father of this universe i am the mother 
the grandfather or ancestor as well as the sustainer and the sanctifier that I purify the place, I sustain it and everything. I am the goal of Vedic knowledge. I am the sacred mantra Om. Om is the smallest mantra in Sanatana Dharma and every mantra generally has Om somehow like Om Namah Shivaya, uh, Om Shri Ramaya Namah, Om Shri Krishna Nama or simply Om or Om Shri Hanumate Nama every mantra and Om chanting Om is the cosmic hum and therefore uh, God says I am in the sacred Om I am verily in the Vedas in the form of Rig, Yaju and Sama he is part of the three Vedas also although there are four Vedas here God is only talking about three he has left out the Atharva Veda because Atharva Veda is more about how to be successful in the world what to do how to be materially happy and God is guiding us to go back to him to not perpetuate the cycle of life and death that is the the reason so shloka number 18 gater bharata prabhu sakshi nivasah sharanam suhrat prabhavah pralayah sthanam nidhanam bijam avyayam i am the ultimate goal the nourisher of all beings, the lord of all creation, the witnessing self, the supreme abode, the refuge of all, the supreme well-wisher. I am the origin and the dissolution of the universe. I am also the sustainer, the supreme treasure and the imperishable seed. So here God continues to uh, reveal that's why it's called Guya Yoga. It's a secret knowledge because he's sharing it with Arjuna through which all pure souls in this world who want to purify and to reach God, they also get this knowledge. So he says, I'm the ultimate goal. Beyond that, there is nothing else. Once we get God, we have achieved everything. No more birth. The, he is the nourisher. We get our nourishment. We grow through God's blessings in the form of prakriti, the food we eat. And he creates everything. So he is the origin and the dissolver of this universe and he sustains it and also the imperishable sheet meaning that there is no end to this cycle of birth and death which is under God's guidance our job is to connect with him and to merge into him so with this we conclude our satsang for today this is a profound chapter each shloka guides us teaches us something new so i hope you are benefiting from this i hope you are enjoying these profound shlokas the deep wisdom of shri krishna to arjuna this is swami nikhilananda hari om tatsat